Hello everyone, it's Samantha. I'm here in um, our baby's nursery right now. You may have noticed that my uploads on this channel have kind of like gone down a little bit. That's just because we are getting ready for our baby. Um, today I am 38 weeks pregnant and I think the last video I posted was a vlog from my 35 week growth scan and so that just came out today when I'm filming this. So that means that it took me three weeks to get that out. Um, so yeah, you can kind of tell that it's just been a little bit busy. So help me out you guys because I'm going to say this one time in this video. The baby's due date is December 21st. So all you people who are going to comment and ask me when the due date is, can the people that heard this part in the clip just respond to them and tell them that the baby's due date is December 21st? I feel like I've said it in like so many videos and people keep asking me when the due date is. It's the 21st. <laughs> so I am full term now and the baby could come basically any day. Um, I've been having contractions at night. They've gotten more intense like at night over the past couple of weeks, probably since I was like 36 weeks. And then I'll go to sleep and I'll be like, this could be the night that like I go into labor, but then I wake up in the morning and I feel totally normal. Um, my OB says that that's pretty normal, but, and the contractions are just, usually worse at nighttime. So, I don't know. Don't know if that means that she'll be here soon. Like, it could mean she comes soon and it could have absolutely nothing to do with anything. <laughs> but she could be here anytime, so I just thought I would make this quick little video and talk about the things that we're doing to get prepared for birth. Um, I wanted to show you what we have done of the nursery so far. It's pretty much done. It's, I mean, it's not done. Um, there's some things that we still want to like hang on the walls and little decorations and stuff, but we have all of the basic necessities for when she's born. So what are we doing to prepare for birth? Um, I've been putting together furniture basically while Gray's at work because he's working all day. Um, I've put together the crib. We have a bookcase over here. I'll give you a nursery tour in a minute, but I have like the changing table that took like so long to put together. Um, so I've been putting together furniture and just kind of setting up the nursery. Our hospital bags are packed. So I have another video explaining what I packed for me, for Gray, and for the baby. None of the things are super, super necessary that we bring. Um, so if for some reason we're somewhere and we have to go to the hospital and we can't take the bags, that won't be a big deal. But if we are home when I go into labor and we can easily grab the bags, the stuff in there will just make our experience more comfortable for all of us. The car seat is actually right here. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is not installed in our car yet. Um, Gray has it on his list to install it and he just hasn't yet. He's probably just gonna install the base um, and then we'll grab like the seat if we need it. But um, it's not that big of a deal if it doesn't get installed before. I go into labor because obviously we can just bring the whole seat and he can install it at the hospital and then everything will be fine. <laughs> but that's just another thing that we can do to prepare for the baby coming. We've been making sure that we have certain baby essentials. So we have the changing table, we have the crib, and I have certain baby clothes for the baby, but I didn't actually buy very many baby clothes. First of all, I thought I was going to get gifted a lot, but we didn't really. Um, but I'm not mad about it because I know that babies can be different sizes when they're born, so we probably won't buy a lot of clothes until after she's born and we kind of just see how big she is. Um, some babies are big and then they grow out of those newborn sizes like super fast, so I don't want to have like too many newborn outfits, but if she's smaller then we might need to buy a lot more newborn outfits. If she's really small we might need to buy preemie outfits, but yeah, I'm just waiting to see what she looks like when she's born and uh, what kind of clothes we need to buy. And that'll be a super easy thing. And we we have so many family members coming up that like to shop. So I figured I could just send them off to Target with a certain amount of money and <laughs> have them buy us some baby clothes. One thing that I have been thinking about is our Christmas card. Um, obviously the baby's due date is very close to Christmas, but we don't want to send out a Christmas card um, before the baby's born and because we want to include a picture of the baby on the Christmas card. But that means that we probably won't have the Christmas cards ready to send out in time for Christmas. So what I'm thinking right now is that we're going to send out a New Year's card for our family. 
Hopefully she'll be here within plenty of time for that. She could still not be. Then I don't know what we'd do. I guess we could still send a New Year's card, like, into January, right? Because it'll still be a new year, but <laughs> whatever. Um, so I've been kind of just, like, writing some things for that, like, getting that kind of ready and getting our address list ready of the people that we're going to send those cards to. And then really, like, just preparing for Christmas. So for Christmas, we have all of our presents ready. I have all of my presents done for Christmas. Um, I have everything that I'm giving Gray, and then Gray and I have everything that we are giving our family. We have sent all of the presents to Virginia to the family that's going to be in Virginia for Christmas. We have some other family in some other states, and we've sent boxes to them. And then there's a few presents that we have that we have not sent out yet that I'm kind of waiting to send closer to Christmas time, um, but we have those presents. And then all of the family that's going to be up here for Christmas that we knew about, um, we have all of their Christmas gifts up and wrapped. Gray still has a few extra presents he's ordering for me, but that obviously doesn't stress me out. I just wanted to get all of my stuff done. <laughs> um, so we've been thinking about Christmas a lot. Um, another thing that we've been thinking about a lot is Christmas presents for the baby. So Gray and I have stockings that have our names on them and we were thinking, oh, like eventually we should get the same kind of stocking for our baby and put her name on it. But we don't know the baby's name yet because we're not gonna decide until she's born. We have a list of a few names that we like, but we're gonna wait to look at her to decide. So we can't order anything personalized. So we're probably just gonna get her a, a little cheap stocking that she can use for this year. It's possible that she won't be here by Christmas, but I'm hoping she will be here by Christmas so that we can be home for Christmas. I know this is super lame, but I made a registry on Amazon for our baby. And the Amazon baby registry comes with this um, welcome bag that has like samples of things. So I was kind of thinking like I could use the little sample things in here for stocking stuffers. There's like a swaddle in here. Um, there's like a singular diaper, like, you know, there's samples of stuff, right? Um, there's a bottle, there's a little onesie, and there's like a pacifier. So they're not the most exciting gifts, but I was like, you know, uh, stocking stuffers for a newborn is kind of a hard thing. Um, I was thinking of just like getting a few other little things, like maybe like a little rattle or something. Um, but I was like, you know, I could use this Amazon gift bag um, because we just have all of this like random little stuff. I know I'm probably going to get her some clothes or like a Christmas outfit or something like that. But again, I'm waiting until she's born to see how big she is. So that'll be something that we buy later on. And then the other thing that I was thinking of getting her for Christmas, I love every newborn um, play kit. So if you don't know about love every, you probably should if you have kids between the ages of zero and four. Um, love every was nice enough to send me this uh, kit. It's called the looker and it's for ages um, zero to 12 weeks. So basically what Love Every is, is it's a subscription service and you get a box of toys delivered every so often uh, based on your baby's age. So this one, like I said, is zero to 12 weeks. And then after that, there's one for three to four months and then on and on and on and on. The thing that's really awesome about Love Every is that they give you this box of toys and they give you a play guide that tells you exactly how you can play with your baby. So how do you play with a newborn? I didn't really know the answer to that, but they do all the research for you and they give you this book and they kind of tell you what your baby is learning at that time and what they should be learning and what kinds of things like stimulate their brain and just ways to play with them. What I've read so far about the newborn stage is that babies can't really like see super well so they really like to see things that are like 8 to 12 inches in front of their face and high contrast things that are black and white are better for them because they can see that a lot more so this is like a little mobile one side is color for when they get older and one side's black and white and then obviously as your baby gets older the toys get more and more complex and stuff this is the box and these are the things i've already taken out of it um, i'm not going to go through everything that's here in this box but it's full of toys 
and lots of uh, things that the baby can play with. So I figured that is like a perfect Christmas present for a newborn because it's toys, babies like toys, and it's toys designed especially for her at that stage. So if you are interested in Love Every and you wanna check out their play kits, check the link in my description. I think it's a really great Christmas present for anyone that has a baby or older kids. Um, like I said, they have play kits designed for kids aged zero to four. Make sure if you're trying to order these for Christmas that you order by December 19th so that it gets to your house in time. So those are our Christmas plans for our baby. And like I said, I already have all the gifts ready for the rest of my family. I'm just hoping that everything goes smoothly with the delivery and that we're able to celebrate Christmas at least, even if it's, you know, after Christmas. So now what probably most people are interested in, I figured I would give a little bit of a nursery tour so far. It's not completely done um, because like I said, we have a few things that we want to hang on the walls. We are thinking um, behind the crib here that we would um, put her name in letters, but like I said, we don't have a name yet, so we can't do that. So the nursery won't be fully finished until she's born. So I figured I'd give a completed tour then, but for now, let me show you what we've got. Here's the door to the nursery. When you walk in, we have here the diaper changing station and uh, the diaper pail, which will be a super big help for um, storing dirty diapers. In here, I have set up some diapers. Uh, this is just like a pack of newborn diapers. Some wipes. These are two newborn onesies. These are some butterflies that we are going to use to decorate, um, but I haven't done it yet because it's, an, it's a thing that we're probably going to hang on the wall behind the changing gable, but we haven't decided where we want to hang it yet. And so I tested a few butterflies, um, but like I said, we're not exactly sure where we want to hang that yet. And then also in this drawer I have some like bibs, burp cloths, and some like mittens, hats, um, just other baby clothes that we've gotten. This is our car seat. This is just sitting here. Obviously it's not going to hang out in the nursery, but this is just here so that we can grab it before we go to the hospital. Over here uh, by the window, I think I've shown you these curtains before in a previous video, but obviously these are here. I love these curtains so much. They're so pretty. Um, we have the Love Every Play Gym down here, which is another great thing because it grows with your baby. Um, there's like lots of things for your baby to play with here. How things feel, uh, hiding and finding, learn to focus, and then here you can put like a mirror or cards for your baby to look at while they're doing tummy time. And then there's like little rattle things here. And then as they get older, there's a cover you can actually put on top. Um, so like when they're a toddler, they can have like a little play hut. I've taken that down because it's not recommended for the newborn stage, but uh, yeah. And then over here is our other toy. This is Ella Fantastic. Um, this is just a toy that my parents got for my nieces when they were little and it was at my parents house and this toy is kind of just an inside joke it's just like a little elephant that you can play and ride on and it like plays music and it's cute and just says some things um yeah we have a little trash can with some trash in it <laughs> this is our nursery glider um which is really nice it has some cat hair on it because Q really enjoys sleeping on it, <laughs> and this is a little blanket, a little baby blanket that just goes with the room. It's kind of messed up because I was just sitting in this chair. Over here, I have a boppy pillow for breastfeeding. Um, yeah, because this chair will probably be using for breastfeeding. And then behind here is like a baby lounger for if we just need to put her in something while we're doing stuff around the house. Over here, I have our butterfly lamp, which I just think is super cute. Um, and it goes with the theme of the room. And we have like this bookcase. So over here we have some books. Over here I have my breast pump and some bottles. Down there is bath supplies. So there's bath toys. And there's like that little rubber duck thermometer that's a rubber duck, but it tells you the water temperature so you know like how hot it is. There's some shampoo. <laughs> um, yeah, and then there's uh, this little whale thing that you use to scoop water and pour on the baby's head. Um, 
when you're like washing their hair. Over here are all of our Love Every toys and other toys that we've gotten. I just, obviously you need to organize this a little bit better and make it look nicer. Um, and then this is going to be wrapped for Christmas. I just don't have it wrapped yet because I needed to show it to you. And then over here we have some wipes because that's just where I put them, I guess. And we have this little otter that is supposed to be a soothe and snuggle otter that makes like different noises. And Gray and I just thought it was cute. Somebody got it for us on our baby registry. This is another thing that we're gonna hang on the wall. It's the alphabet, and I just thought that it, here's the crib, I just thought that the colors worked so perfectly um, in this room. So yeah, that's gonna be cool. And our last thing is the crib. So butterfly theme, like I said, these are little butterflies in the bed skirt here. The bed sheets are little butterflies. And yeah, this is just the set that comes together. Um, this is all from Pottery Barn, this um, crib set, um, baby blanket, and the curtains there, and this lamp, the butterfly lamp, and the little butterflies that I showed you that were in the changing table. All of that's from Pottery Barn. All of that was a gift from my grandmother, which is really awesome. I thought it was cute because I thought it was really subtle because it's not like one of those baby rooms that has all the big fluffy pink stuff. It's kind of like a more blush color. It's more chill, but it's still pink for the baby girl. And then over here is all of our stuff for the hospital that we're gonna bring, and this is my phone. I think I mentioned this at the beginning, but obviously we're getting closer and closer to the due date. When the baby's born, I'm not gonna really be posting very much, so just please be patient with me on that. Um, videos will obviously take a lot longer to be filmed and to be edited and we also have family coming for the holidays so we're gonna prioritize that so sorry if this is kind of one of the last videos you see I'll try to like update on Instagram or something like that so you at least know that we're doing well um, just know that we're spending time with family and hopefully our new baby girl. Anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you so much for your nice comments and prayers um, we're very excited and we know that the baby can come any day now, so we're just super excited for her to be here. And yeah, uh, check out some of my other videos if you're interested. And yeah, that's all. Bye.